Here I have on my desk in the EP studio, it's uh, Whirlwind FX Vortex. I met with uh, Timothy Sun while I was at the New York Comic Con event uh, uh, in October, and he told me about this device. He actually had one with him, and he did a demo for me uh, off in the corner. Uh, it wasn't the, the best place in the world to show me how the, uh, the Vortex works, uh, but he promised to send me one, and they did send me one, and, I, and I've been so busy traveling and doing all kinds of stuff, I haven't had time to kind of break it out and demo it. I thought, why don't I do that with you guys? And I've, t I've done a little bit of tinkering just to get it all set up, but pretty much this is my first time checking out the, uh, the Whirlwind uh, FX um, Vortex, and the way that this thing works is that it pairs with the um, the imagery that's on the screen as well as the audio cues they've got a built-in uh, algorithm here that they built like a like a piece of software that works alongside your game so you keep it running in the background and i tested it out um i actually don't want to i'm in big picture mode here so but the, the system works pretty good we'll uh uh maybe what i'll do is i'll uh, i'll quit the games and i'll show you a little bit of it but uh it, it uh uh, it works pretty cool. You can test the fan in heat mode and in cool mode and in uh, real time as you're playing games You will notice that this thing sort of kicks off uh, either heat or cool air um, And it's dependent on some of the imagery that that is uh, being shown off on screen now They have a streaming mode where and they have twitch integration. It's it's right there in the software I haven't tested any of that stuff out. I thought I wanted to check this out in real time playing real games um, and some different sequences. I've checked it out on a couple of ones for a few minutes, but right now I am going to uh, launch us into a frosty game. I'm gonna put the Vortex box here, but uh, it's spelled V-O-R-T-X, and it's by Whirlwind FX, and you can check out more if you wanna know more about it on its website, but let's see how it works, okay? It's gonna be a fan, so it's gonna be a little bit noisy and it's right beside the microphone, but um, this should work. Currently, I'm playing uh, Batman Arkham Origins and I'm in a battle with uh, Killer Croc, so let's see how that goes. So it's a little bit, oh, already I'm getting the cool air off of this thing, and you're gonna hear it kick up the, the fan noise. It's actually good that it's right beside that. Oh yeah, okay, so it's blasting air at me, and it's not freezing, I'm not like, it's already a little bit frosty out there, so I don't want to be freezing inside, but it's uh, it's definitely adding to the immersion, which is kind of cool. Okay, now it's getting a bit chillier as I'm punching, because it, it, uh, it not only just does like this constant wash of what it's seeing on the screen, but if there are flourishes, like even when a logo crosses the screen, you get that whoosh, and it pops out, and it, it sort of kicks up, and uh, if there are um, effects that you're feeling in the force feedback, it also sort of kicks up and, and uh, aligns with that as well. It's, it's very impressive. Uh, okay, so Killer Croc. I didn't let him die because I'm Batman. So good. I love this game. I know a lot of people had issues with Batman Arkham Origins. I freaking loved it. I love the story. Early days of Batman. Takes off in his Batwing jet. So rad. Okay. Should we just play this for the... Let's just play this. Should we just do that? Okay, whoosh. I feel all of the uh, the fan effects across all of that stuff. Very cool. Okay. Oh, so young Commissioner Gordon. Oh my god! What did I do? I started Batman Arkham Origins. Now I want to play all the Arkham games. Guys, this might have been a mistake. Okay, so we're uh, going to stop this game as soon as it lets me stop it. And I'm going to show you another game. Uh, just to show you that it works with everything. It's not, you don't have to download any, you know, extra apps to tie it to the game. I know that Whirlwind is, you know, reaching out to the uh, the video game community. They've won some awards for um, the innovation that they have within this technology. Uh, but for the most part, they wanted to make it as easy to plug in and play as possible. And that's exactly what's going on. I don't know if you guys could hear that. Can they, can they hear that? Okay, I don't, but it's kicking up wind every time I go. It, it probably works even time when I'm whipping through the menus and stuff like that. Okay, so I was playing, uh, uh, I'll play the ones that I've, I've just tested out and I thought it was pretty rad. So let's do uh, Tomb Raider right here. So we're gonna play uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, and if you guys remember the beginning of uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, you're on the mountaintop and, and uh, that was the first exposure that I got to the uh, to the whirlwind effects, the vortex effects, and it was pretty damn impressive. So we'll jump right onto the mountain peak. 
Uh, this game still runs and looks beautiful, the, uh, the, the middle part of the most recent trilogy, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, okay, so I'm on a frosty, yeah, right away the wind is sort of kicking up inside of the vortex. You can hear it. Oh yeah, it's like, what was crazy is as I was on the top of the mountain, just prior to this sequence, the wind actually does kick up visually, and it's whoosh, you can see all the snow and everything. And this was coming, and that was the first time I turned it on. I'm like, okay, all right, I'm frosty, it's working. And it's it's cool. Now, the one thing that I will say, yeah, I'm getting cold. This is crazy. The one thing that I would say is uh, it's you want to have headphones on because you don't want to hear the fan. You want to feel the wind, but you don't want to hear the engine of the of the device. You know, it's it, it's... It's built on technology that exists in the world, so it's gonna make noise, you know? It's not like some science fiction uh, noiseless uh, immersion here. Um, but it's pretty rad that it's sort of happening all, like, all around you, and I never would have thought that it would be that big of a deal to get that, that sort of, that extra kick, but it's, it's pretty damn impressive. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this jump. Ooh, okay. I'm feeling the little gusts of wind coming at me. Okay, and then it dies down. And this is just a cutscene, I'm not playing anything here. But it's still... It's still a part of it. It's not just when you're in, um... In the game, in, in real-time mode. It's, it's through whatever it's interpreting on screen. In real-time. It's impressive. Yeah. But it is noisy. And I, I have the, uh, the headphones on, but I don't have it that high. And I can still hear the, uh, the sound of the, uh... Uh, hear the sound of the fan. Still looks great, this game, huh? And this is this is on my... Uh, it's a few years old PC, but it still looks really good. Ooh, it's frosty in this cave! Oh, yes. That's cool. Oh, they can't really see the game, right? No, okay. Uh, okay, well, that is a nice little taste of that. I'm gonna play one more game and just show you uh, uh, that we've got uh, one more thing. You wanna you wanna pop this camera out a little bit, Blake, so we can see the the game. And I think they know what this all looks like. No, the focusing is too tough. Okay, all right. So we're gonna quit the game and we are gonna try a racing game, um, and that's gonna be Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform. This is. A classic, never played this game, you definitely need to, especially if you're a Sega lover because uh, uh, it has all kinds of great characters and great music and stuff, it's super fun. Okay, so even as the Sumo logos came in, um, there's it, the thing is you know blasting air at me, which is really cool. Wreck-It Ralph is in this game, how apropos. Yep, yeah, I can feel that. So every logo, every engine, sort of wine, all of that stuff. So let's jump in and let's give this game a quick little race. Um, I tried it, the Samba de Amigo race. That's the thing about this game is that they have all kinds of different levels based on different um, Sega games. And the Samba de Amigo had a lot of lava and sun. And uh, so it was getting warmer as I was playing, which was really cool. Okay. So this is the Panzer Dragoon level. Let's see what, what uh, kinds of effects the Vortex kicks off at me right now. Okay, here we go. Yeah, as I'm speeding up, the fans are going. It's getting hotter. Let's see if there's any other effects as I'm whipping around here. Yeah, it's getting warmer. I got a, I, that little burst of uh, color, which was kind of a yellowy red thing, gave me a little heat blast just as I got that power up. That was pretty cool. And I also feel a little bit of the drift wind as well, and it cools down for that, which I guess it's taking from uh, the visual cues represented on screen. Impressive. 
I just drove through a uh, tornado and got a little whoosh, kind of sound, uh, feel as well. Yeah, this is this is cool. It was effortless to p plug this in and to get this extra sort of dimensional effect. It's pretty damn cool. I definitely want to check this out with VR. I didn't plug any of the VR stuff in right now, but uh, that is a pretty damn impressive little taste of uh, the Vortex from uh, Whirlwind FX. Um, it's not like it's super, super cheap. It's definitely an investment, but if you've got a nice PC rig, and right now it I think it only works with... Uh, uh, PC games. I don't think it works with every single thing out there, but I think they're, they're looking to uh, engage with a lot more video content, so anything that you're seeing on your television, so presumably this is all, all going to be working with consoles and stuff in the future. Um, but I think they're onto something here. This is pretty rad. And they're, they're probably working on different uh, uh, ways to assemble this technology, like put embedded into monitors and things like that. It's impressive. And I, I haven't tried this with VR yet, but I imagine that's the other level. And uh, before I give you guys a full review on, on this thing, I just wanted to give it a, a nice little, a little try just to see how it works and how easy it is to set up. It works quite well, and it was very easy to set up. It's called the Whirlwind uh, FX Vortex.